Hi everyone, I'll be fixing Grub in OpenSUSE Leap. If it was working before and now you get the Grub Rescue screen, or if you're dual booting with Windows and it goes straight into Windows, then I'll show how you can get Grub working again. So I'm going to need the installation media. So I'm going to go to get.opensuse.org. And it's from my desktop. So I'm going to go to it. And I'm running Leap. So I'm going to download. And so I'm going to download the image. After the download is completed, I'm going to boot from the image. So for example, you can use a USB drive or you can use Ventoy. And now I'm going to reboot my computer and boot from the installation media. All right, so it's booted into the installation media. So I have boot from hard disk, installation, upgrade, and more. I'm going to go into more. And then I'm going to select rescue system. Select your keyboard map, English. I'm at the rescue login screen. And so the username is root. And there's no password. First thing I'm going to do is type in fdisk-l, which is going to show my disks and partitions. And in my case, the disk that has OpenSUSE Leap is dev sda. And dev sdb is my USB drive, which has the installation media. So looking at dev sda, I have SDA1, which is the EFI system partition for Windows. SDA2 is a Microsoft Reserve partition. SDA3, which is 427 gigabytes in size, it's my C drive for Windows. SDA4 is my EFI partition for OpenSUSE. SDA5 is my swap partition. SDA6 is my root partition for OpenSUSE. And SDA7 is the Windows recovery environment. So from here, I'm gonna need SDA4 and SDA6. So I'm going to mount these two partitions, and I'm going to be mounting them under the directory slash mnt mounts. So we see here that it's empty. I'm going to go out of it and then mount dev sda6. I'm going to mount it to mount. And then the next one is going to be dev sda4. I have to mount that into the boot efi directory. So it'll be mount dev sda4 mount boot. EFI. Next I'll need to mount is the slash dev slash proc slash sys and slash run from the live environment into the mount directory. So mount dash b to bind the dev directory to new directory mount dev. And then next I'll do it for proc. And then sys. And then finally run. And now I'm going to true root into the mount directory. Now I'm going to make the EFI variables available. Mount dash T. EFI var FS. None. It's going to go to sys. Firmware. EFI. EFI vars. And now I'm going to reinstall grub2. Grub2 dash install dash dash target equals x86 underscore 64 dash EFI dash dash EFI dash directory equals slash boot slash EFI dash dash bootloader dash ID equals OpenSUSE. Enter. All right, installation finished, no errors reported, so that's good. And I'm going to type in OS Prober to probe for other operating systems, and in my case, Windows. All right, so it's able to find Windows, so that's good. And now I'm going to create a new grub configuration file using grub2 make config. grub2 hyphen make config dash o boot grub2 grub.cfg. Enter. All right, it's generated a new grub configuration file and it's found the Windows boot manager, so that's good and it's added in a boot menu entry. So now I'm gonna exit out of the true root. I'm gonna reboot my computer, remove the installation media, and go into my BIOS. 
All right, in my BIOS boot order, so there's OpenSUSE, and then there's the Windows Boot Manager. So Grub has been reinstalled, so it should be able to boot up Grub now. I'm going to save changes and exit. It's booted up Grub as expected, and there's OpenSUSE Leap, and there's the Windows Boot Manager. So I'm going to confirm I can go into OpenSUSE. Log in. All right, it's booted into OpenSUSE as expected. And now I'm going to reboot and confirm I can get into Windows as well. Select Windows. All right, so it's booted into Windows. So that's it. That's how you can fix Grub in OpenSUSE. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.